Welcome to the Televent DTN web help videos. Today we're going to be discussing how to set up and configure DDE into Excel from IQ Feed. To do so, what we want to do is make sure you have IQ Feed installed first, and then go to Start, All Programs, IQ Feed, and then under IQ Feed, we want to go first to IQ Link Launcher, hit Start IQ Link. And this is going to bring up the login screen for us. Go ahead and sign in. And then go back to Start, All Programs, IQ Feed, and then go to Sample DDE Spreadsheet. On here, this is our Sample DDE Spreadsheet. And what you're going to see first, or should see first, is this little pop-up that's asking you to ask, or enable the remote data that's coming in from IQ Feed. What we want to do is hit yes to all. And as you can see, we are now getting data from IQ Feed into Excel. If you don't get that initial uh, pop-up window asking you to enable the data, it's chances are your Excel security has been set to disable any external feeds coming in. To change that, what we want to do is go to in Office 07, go up to the Home button or Office button, and go down to Excel Options. Within the Excel Options, go to Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and then over on the left hand side, click on Macro Settings and set it to Enable All Macros. Then over on the left hand side, go to External Content and make sure that both the security settings for data connections and security settings for workbook links are both set to enable as well. From here, hit OK. OK again. And then what you'll want to do is restart your sample DDE spreadsheet. Once you've restarted it, you should start to get data streaming in from IQ Feed. If you want to look at, say, futures within Excel, we have to do a little bit of configuration to the Excel cells to make sure that it will work as IQ Feed uses some specialized characters for electronic markets and Excel doesn't like them by themselves. So what we want to do is right click on the cell that you want to put in the symbol, go down to Format Cells, and then under the Number, cat, number tab, select Text. Once you have text selected, hit OK. And then what you can do is type in at ES pound or whatever symbol you're looking for and hit enter. As you can see with the DDE, it doesn't automatically bring in the data for you. There's two ways of bringing in the data. One is to run our IQ link macro or two to manually type in the formulas for each individual field that you want to use. To run the macro, what you'll want to do is go highlight from the very first column below the first field that you're wanting and to the right of the symbol list. From here, we want to highlight all of the fields within the system. And as you can see, I'm going all the way over to delayed. Once this is highlighted within Office 07, go up to View, Macros, View Macros. Or you can hit Alt F8 to bring up the macro window. On the macro window, you'll have a link or a macro that says IQ Link underscore DDE. And as long as it's highlighted, hit Run. As you can see, it automatically loads and refills all of the data plus the new symbol that we just added for ES into the spreadsheet. There is some little bit of configuration that we can do, but that's generally minor for this type of thing. If you're wanting to meanly put in a symbol, what you'll want to do is the formula for it is going to be equals IQ link 
the pipe key. The pipe key is going to be on the backslash key if you hold shift and then backslash and the backslash key is going to be between delete and enter or return and if you hit shift backslash it'll give you this straight up and down bar which is known as the pipe. So pipe and we'll go ahead and do ES again and for ES since it does have the special, the special character or the at sign in front of it we want to put it in single quotations at ES pound single quote then exclamation mark followed by the field that you want and the field that we're going to do is last so last and once you have that field in there go ahead and hit return as you can see it automatically pulls the data from IQ feed and gives you the actual last of at ES pound or whatever symbol that you're looking at and you can do this for any of the fields as you see right here. On the sample DDE spreadsheet, we do have all of the fields listed down below under the available data elements for quote items as well as fundamental data. As you can see, some of these fields do have two words assigned to them. If you're looking for or trying to load one of these in and it's not working properly, make sure that you have both words encased in single quotations. For example, if we want to get tick volume, okay, which would be tick vol, we'll come back up here and type in equals IQ link pipe single quote at ES pound single quote exclamation single quote again tick space vol single quote and then hit enter. And as you can see, I typoed, so we'll go ahead and fix it. And this does have to be, this is case sensitive, which was my mistake. Hmm. Oh, I typoed it. <laughs> okay. And we all make mistakes. So once I hit tick vol, as you can see, now we're getting the tick volume for at ES pound here. Once again, there's many different ways of using the Excel DDE linking. The one thing that this the DDE does not do, however, is load historical data. This is currently only for streaming data coming in from IQ feed. If you're wanting to use or view historical data within Excel, there are a couple of third-party softwares that you can use to do so. If you do have any problems or questions, certainly contact us here in support and we'd be happy to take a look for you. Mm -hmm.